Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. Today is gonna be a little bit of a TikTok video. TikTok, TikTok on the clock, Zaddy. I'm gonna watch some TikToks that you guys want me to watch. You tagged me in these on TikTok, so I feel like I need to watch them. You obviously tagged me for a reason, and I'm sure these TikToks are very important, and we all need to witness them together as a Chan Chan family. Let's just get into the first one. Do you, do you know the order of the song? Have you learned nothing? Is this Minecraft Roblox Dance Moms? They need to make a whole Dance Mom season where they're all in a Minecraft universe. The way they made Abby though, some might say it's offensive. Why'd they make her so giant? But that's her personality. Abby's personality does feel like she's two stories tall. Oh, just realized Jojo has a pride flag? Okay, recent, recent events. I'm so thankful Jojo's out there living her gay life, you know? Her LGBT life. Her first song said, I'ma come back like a boomerang, but really she came out like a boomerang. Um, I'll cut that out of the video. Oh, Abby. Not address her until she learns to say, excuse me, when two adults are speaking. I am too old for that crap. I just know I'm gonna have nightmares where Roblox Abby chases me and yells at me and tells me to point my toes during the dance routine. She's just always gonna put me at the bottom of the pyramid. <laughs> I can already tell it's gonna haunt me. Thanks for sending me that. Oh, what do you know? Another Dance Moms one. Every episode of Dance Moms. Okay, I don't know why everyone thinks I wanna see all these Dance Mom TikToks, but thanks for sending it. And on top of the pyramid, Maddie. This week, the group <laughs> dance is about your husband cheating on you with your sister, then stealing your dog and putting him up for adoption. Abby, don't you think that's a little dark? If you don't like it, lay! <laughs> She's got it down. Abby only ever put Maddie on the top of the pyramid. I'm still mad about it. It affected my life and I'm mad. Also, Abby had them doing the weirdest dances. Abby would just stand up and be like, okay, I've got this week's group dance. You all are beat up wives who are paralyzed from polio. Also, death. At the end of the dance, you'll all die. And they're all just like, listen, we're eight. I just turned eight. What is that Corey in the house? Thank you for sending me this. Thank you for calling Disney Plus. How may I take your call? Yeah, hey, how's it going? I was calling to see if we can get Corey in the house on Disney Plus. <laughs> Why the fuck would you want that? Because I like the show. My, my whole family does. Sir, we don't give a fuck what your family likes. So, so now? It's a fuck now. Did Corey in the house just cuss? It's a fuck now. Did he say the F bomb? It's a fuck now. Did he say the F word? It's a fuck now. Did he say that? It's a fuck now. I am not letting my kids watch that show anymore. I refuse. They love Corey and the house that he's in. Did he say F U C K? It's a fuck now. I am never letting any of my 18 kids ever watch that show again. Thanks for sending that to me. Why isn't Corey in the house on Disney Plus though? Disney, speak up now. We demand answers. What is this? Oh, lay down, girl. Huh. Wait, is she gonna arch? Okay, the caption said she was gonna arch and she did arch. Boner is what I have now. Thank you guys so much for sending that to me. You guys know me too well. It's scary. Like, how did you know I needed to see that? And the Chan Chan needed to see that. Anyway, let's see what else we've got. Lots of people on here keep calling me Judy. Okay, make that drink. I love it. Really will always love you, Fred. That is actual Judy. The woman who lifetimes ago I was straight for. She's a beauty. Pixie, if you're watching, I would still go straight for for you. I know you're engaged. I know you have a man, is what I'm saying. And if anything changes, hit me up. The world needs Fred and Judy to end up together. And the world's like, no, just stop. No, 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 uh-uh. Hi, my name is Lindsay and I'm searching for love. I'm recently single, I think, and I'm looking for someone who I can spend the rest of my life with, or at least the rest of my probation with. <laughs> A icon. About me. I would define my personality as uh, creative, I'm a bit of a night owl, I'm a workaholic, a shopaholic, and according to the state of California, an alcoholic, as well as a threat to all security guards if they work at hotels. And Same. to put all those rumors to rest, I am not broke, 
I actually have over $400 in the bank. Queen, absolute goddess. People tried to take her down, get mad at her for hijacking cars and stuff. And she's like, listen, y'all can gossip all you want. I'm gonna make a skit about it and laugh at it. Ha ha, F you all, so hard. I'm gonna go out on a limb. Yes, Lindsay did hijack a car back in those days, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say the person deserved it. Like, I don't know the story, none of us do, but I just know she would only hijack someone's car. Who deserved it? Lindsay Listen, some of y'all out there are walking around and you're the type of person who deserves to have your car hijacked. I said it, no one else is gonna say it. Sometimes you hang out with someone for a bit and you realize they deserve to get their car hijacked by Lindsay Lohan and she did it for society. In redheads we trust, amen. Megan Thee Stallion old tweets about to get her canceled. <laughs> y'all, please go watch the Fred movie on Nickelodeon. <laughs> Cancel her. I know a lot of people have been canceled in the past 24 months, but she needs to be canceled. She promoted the Fred movie. <laughs> Thanks for sending me that. Megan Thee Stallion did tweet about Fred, not once. Not once, honey. Twice. She also tweeted about Cyberbully starring Emily Osment. During that year of her life, she was watching the TV movies. She was sitting on the couch watching the TV films, and in some way, it inspired her to sh body yaddy 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 yaddy. I'm claiming full responsibility responsibility for Megan Thee Stallion. Just kidding, um. But when I found out she tweeted about the Fred movies, I was excited. Megan, I love you. Right now, I need to know, where are you now? Like, have you improved? Are you still bad? Tristan here from season two, episode one in Atlanta. No, oh my God! If you're a Chan Chan, Oh gee, like two years ago, I made a video on the world's strictest parents. This guy was one of the kids who got sent away to a strict family because he was such a baddie. I'm pretty sure he said he had a group sex and filmed it with a karaoke machine. We all came back here and we got really drunk and ended up having sex with each other and we filmed it on um, my camera on my karaoke machine. <laughs> He's an icon. What is he up to now? I need to know. Thanks for tagging me in this. Um, it was 12 years ago, so I look a little bit different. I've not got my uh, emo fringe anymore, um, but- I still got mine. Inside. I, I was never really bad, to be honest with you. It is just TV, so I don't believe everything that you see on TV. I literally just had like a few minor issues, which I've managed to sort out, so. Um, career writing and directing films, um, doing quite well for myself. And I managed to quit smoking as well, so I'm really proud. Aww, he's doing so good. I like how at the end he was like gonna take his blood pressure and then also was like, hey, let me clean this spoon because fire sanitizes things. So I'm sure he was like, hey, let me save water and sanitize this spoon. I'm glad to know he's doing great. That's so wholesome. Thanks for sending me that. Show me you were on a Nickelodeon show without telling me you were on a Nickelodeon show. Let's see. I'm assuming I was tagged in that because I also was in a Nickelodeon show, but I don't have one of those little orange blobs. Not one. I was nominated once. I lost to Ross Lynch. I thought I was over this. I really thought I was over this. It's okay, because I have a Teen Choice Award and I will get out and show you it. I beat Perez Hilton to get a Teen Choice Award. Bro, it's been 12 years. Move on. Me still just running around the grocery store like, you guys, I have a Teen Choice Award. Me at the DMV. I'm skipping the line. I have a Teen Choice Award. It's right here with me, this giant surfboard. I should start doing that. I am overdue for a breakdown, so I I should get on that. Name a better song. Name a better music artist. Yeah. Couldn't name anyone. So the caption for this is Texas lesbian. I'm glad I was tagged in this. Hell yeah. She is lip syncing a country song that you guys won't be able to hear because it's copyrighted, but yes. I'm glad somebody saw that. Somebody saw a Texas lesbian lip syncing to a country song and decided, hey, Lucas needs to see this. Let me give him a tag. He needs to witness this. Thanks for thinking of me. Abby Lee Miller, the new queen of rap. Abby spit. Abby ate that. 
And people claim Nicki Minaj, she started the new wave of female rap. When was this Abby Lee Miller rap with Maxi released? Was it before Nicki? Cause I think she might be the true pioneer of the current wave of female rap. Abby Lee Miller did that. If Nicki Minaj had Abby Lee Miller featured on a song, I think it would cure everything I'm working on in therapy. I really think it would. I asked Lindsay Lohan to come out to my parents for me in a cameo, and she did make the video. It's not what I expected at all. Hi, Alana, it's Lindsay Lohan. Um, I know that you are about to take a very big step in telling your parents, and I think that you should do it yourself. I think that coming from you, you'll feel a lot of power and strength, and it's important that you are who you truly are. I promise you they will understand. I'm sending you lots of love. I saw some people were upset because they were like, Lindsay didn't actually come out for her and she paid for it, but I agree with Lindsay. Like she should do it herself. And you know, Lindsay gave her the encouragement that she needed. Lindsay was like a savior from above, like just being like, hey, I'll give you the strength. I'll give you the power to do it yourself. You're beautiful. I'm buying a Lindsay Lohan cameo right after I'm done filming this. I'm gonna spend $300 a day on Lindsay Lohan cameos every single day for her to just pump me up emotionally and spiritually. So last but not least, I was tagged in a lot of this specific woman's TikTok videos. She's Glitter Paris Ginger. What is it? Let me see. Glitter Paris. And for some reason, I've been tagged in multiple of her TikToks by multiple people. I need to watch these and see what's up. If you ever doubt your Yourself, I want you to tap into your inner stripper. Remember, she's a bad bitch. She takes money from men, she doesn't care, and she looks good doing it. Icon, she's sparkling. My parents have this like really cute home video of my birth, and I came out of my mom's veg looking exactly like this. I was wearing a glittery Von Dutch hat, and I was not a tube top. That's crazy. That's literally exactly how I looked coming out of the womb. Okay, I'm ready to go. I worked out, I threw up, I took a walk after that. And now I get to go and get my Botox. I said that to myself yesterday. You guys know me way too well. This woman is the chaotic energy I need in my TikTok algorithm. When I'm scrolling, yes, show me a couple dances. Show me some funny skits. Show me a prank or two, but I mostly want to see unhinged chaotic energy. It's beautiful. Holy shit, that fucking bitch just texted me again. That's the whole TikTok. We all feel that. Sometimes you look at your phone and you're just like, oh, holy mother effing frick. My landlord is texting me again because rent is due. Haha. <laughs> Bye, you're blocked. This is my house now. I'm not paying no rent. Yes, you own it. That's a piece of paper. I've lived here for the last year. I felt that exact energy, Glitter Paris, many times. And if people want to call me a slut or say I look like a slut, it doesn't matter because I don't give a fuck what people think about me and you shouldn't care either. Period. With a dot. All periods have dots, but I thought I was doing something with that line. Period, sis. Period. I'm following Glitter Paris immediately. Thanks for sending me her videos. Charlie D'Amelio's out here getting all this hype. We need to hype up Glitter Paris. I'm gonna be her manager. I'll get her a record deal. She'll win an Oscar. She'll start a perfume line and a ketchup line, cause why not? No celebrity's done that. She'll start a meditation app, because obviously we all need to have her whisper into our ears gentle relaxation techniques. Wow, this was a journey. Thank you guys for tagging me in those TikToks. You know what I need to see. I am thankful. Don't forget to subscribe, click that notification bell so you never miss another video like this. And with that, I'm gonna go on my merry way. Bye! <laughs>